looked at my flag and saw the colors red, white, and blue waving proudly in the air. I then looked at my nation and saw the colors red versus blue, staining the white, the purity, the innocence, the white over their division and their corruption. And it was in that moment that I realized that our nation, our great nation and all it stood for is divided. No longer were we united as Americans, but instead we were red versus blue. We were donkey versus elephant, Democrat versus Republican. What we failed to realize is that our biggest difference, our only difference, is over how to run the country. It's not a personal issue. It's not a battle between you and I. It's just a difference on how to run the country. And that's something that I don't think that you're capable of realizing because from both sides I hear spews of hatred. Are you capable of realizing that? Are you capable of being able to disagree with someone without hating them? I don't think you are. Change my mind. I once read the story of two soldiers, young soldiers, in a battle. In the midst of battle, separated from their battalions and into the woods. They came across each other in locked eyes, instantly realizing that they were enemies. Now they had the chance to draw their weapons and fire on each other, but they didn't. Because they realized something that a lot of us fail to realize, which is the battle wasn't with each other. I can't do anything without hearing hatred from both sides. I can't go on social media without I, seeing someone bash somebody else for disagreeing with them. I can't listen to the radio without hearing advertisements saying don't vote for this person because they suck. Just because we disagree with someone, it doesn't make them the enemy, it just makes us human. Our country was founded on uniqueness, on individuality, on the ability to think freely and disagree with somebody. It's right in our Constitution with the First Amendment, our ability to speak freely, our ability to vote, our ability to protest and parade. If we all thought the same way, if we were always on the same page, the Constitution would say, we the sheeple, not we the people. I want you to realize that just because we don't share ideas, we're not enemies. But again, I'm not sure you're capable of that changed my mind. Abraham Lincoln said, united we stand and divided we fall. And I, I am afraid because the American Psychology Association says that divorce rates are up to 60%, 60% of all marriages end in divorce. And that scares me because if we're not able to stay united with one person, with one person that we love and promise our life to, then how are we expected? How am I expected to rely on you to be able to stay united with 325.7 million? America is beautiful. It's wonderful. There's amazing people in it, but her and all her glory will fall if we are too divided to be able to come together. If we're too divided to be able to sit in a room and listen to each other to find the best idea, it doesn't matter what side it came from. It matters that it's the best way to run our country. It saddens me where we are, where we are at the point of electing the lesser of two evils. There are so many great people in America, people that are able to run our country with compassion and intelligence, the best people to run our country. But we're not out there looking for them because we're trying to gain the upper hand. So America is going to fall. I truly believe that that is our future, unless we can come together. When I look at the colors, red, white, and blue. I want to think of red being valor and blue being justice and white being purity and innocence. I don't want to think of the fact that we are so divided. I want you to change my mind. Thank you.